I mean, yeah, time zones. We're actually on prime Australian time. Imagine that. That's got to oh. be a first. Yeah, no killer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, looks like we're good to go. I think, Sylvie, you said you wanted to do the countdown? Yeah, I will do it. I'll just quickly at the racers. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty excited for this race, though. I think it should be a good race. Both these guys are 1 and 2. In terms of the PBs, Sabi has a 57XX. Uh, I think it's like a mid-57. And Kaliris has a 102, technically. It's a 102.57, so almost a 103. So a sizable gap between them, somewhere in the realm of 5.5 minutes. But um, I actually think... I don't think that's too insurmountable from Kaliris. Uh, especially with times that aren't necessarily as optimized as a lot of these 50-51 runners we've been seeing earlier in the tournament. Um, and yeah, also the 50... Or sorry, the 102 from Kaliris is a month ago, so there's a pretty good chance they might have a better time by now. Yeah, a month is quite a bit of time to practice. Uh, yep. I set them off. Uh, there'll be a bit of delay, but the racers hopefully will be starting soon. Yep. There we go. There's Kolaris and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the timing worked out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth mentioning, because these guys are one and two, the winner obviously will be two and two, the loser one and three. If you're two and two, you still have a chance at that three and two spot, and you need to be at least three and two at the end of the bracket stage. This is a five game bracket. Each winner will have five races. Mm -hmm. um, so, in a way, this is a must win. If you lose this, you will not make the top 16 tournament. Uh, if you win this, you still have a chance. Yeah, it's a pretty important race for both these runners. Uh, I wish them both luck. Yeah, most. Sorry, as we'll start with Kings Fest. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> as y'all know, the know by now, the early game is fairly simple. Just making our way through until we get the first abilities in the game. Uh, we're just gonna get a sync up with the times here. Thank you to our volunteer. Um, yeah, we're just gonna make our way through until we get what we need, and then we can move fast and beat the game. <laughs> yeah, the early game the same in a large number of categories. Interestingly, all skills is probably the most recent change in early game as compared to the other like main categories in that we don't get the crossroads tag anymore. So the all skills early game is the exact same as the any percent early game. I say that's the most recent. It's like a year old at this point. Yeah. But with how optimized Hollow Knight speedrunning's been and how great the people routing the runs have been, um, that's kind of recent by our definition. Wasn't well, there like an extended period of time where you would get the crossroads stag and not use it throughout the run at all? Uh, not that I know. I hope okay. not. <laughs> I don't know but, why that would be a thing. I remember Zero talking about that for a moment, but maybe maybe I misheard. Anyway. Uh, I believe Zero. <laughs> I believe in Zero. Uh, both runners still very neck and neck as they head into the cross drop here. Let's see how many hits they get. Oh. Yeah, clears with a nice jump there. You can also up slash that guy. They're both going to get hit once, which at yeah. least it's fair. <laughs> yeah, okay. Savi just about a second behind, but nothing huge. There's actually a chance if um, Kaliris up slashes that Gruz, they might have had time to just slip by that Gruz on the way down, mm. but it's hard to tell. That's true. And this is the double spike from Kaliris. Savi's waiting for it. That looked really good. Mm. Savi with a really quick double spike. That was good. That actually put Sabi ahead by like two seconds. Wow. Yeah, about a two second lead coming into this room. Just based on watching so far, it looks like Kaliris might not have the load normalizer. Yeah, that's way yeah. too short to be a no load normalizer. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> it happens. Yep, yep. Oh man, so far in the race though, or in the tournament though. Oh well. Uh, one thing I always like to see with the racers will go for statue pogo here. For me, it's one of the most satisfying tricks to get. Oh, no. It's alright, though. Yeah, Clearus misses it by so much that I'm almost wondering... You don't see if Sabi go for it, by the way. But yeah. I'm almost wondering if Clearus went for the um, tick tick pogo there. You can pogo the tick tick instead of the statue. It's generally much tighter. I know Viz did it for a short time. Um, but yeah, it, it almost looked... He was just... Or they were just really far off the statue, at least it looked like it. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Kaliris isn't running without any music on, which is... not too exciting for <laughs> viewing pleasure. Is that a hint hint palm get on changing the audio? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Savi is technically ahead now, right? So... <laughs> 
That's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, but as we see here, we're doing the false knight. We're only going to do one round of them before we go over to the left here and smack this wall a few times, getting us out of the arena and moving on without having to defeat the first boss in the game. A dev intended skip that we are going to make good use of. I actually think neither of them are using music. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to have silent gameplay. You put on tunes in the background, get Spotify or YouTube or whatever. We get, we get a paid promotion, right? Yeah. That's okay. that's definitely how it works. Right. <laughs> yeah, any anything we anything we uh brand we get a money from them. Yeah. They're forced to pay us money. Yeah, yeah. It's like advertisement. A th no, no, no. Three forty three from Kaliris and a three thirty nine from Sabi estimating. It looks like a four four ish second difference between the two runners. Mm hmm Dude, it's eerie. It's just this. It's just this yeah. windy sound. And you know, both runners probably have some hype as heck music going on <laughs> <laughs> that we can't hear. But uh, yeah. it took me so long to get. I mean, I use like virtual audio cable. I know people mm. use different things, but it took me so long to get a program uh, to just listen to music that doesn't play on stream. I don't know why. Like, it's so simple to do, and I just put off doing it for literally years. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just want to get off. I need it, but hey. Uh, here's Ancestral Man. Uh, Kolaris is coming up to the boulder. See how many spits he gets. Oh, just the first bit. Lucky, lucky. And Sabi. One, two, three. Yeah. three spit. So three, sp three spits, but for a three second difference that Rix is saying in chat, um, third spit versus first spit should be about a three second difference, so we might see a very even time leaving this room. Kolaris mm -hmm. leaves at 52. Sabi, after taking the bench, will also be leaving it 52. <laughs> yeah, barely. wow. Very even. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness uh, live split counts in uh, loadless time and not loaded, or else this would be someone else. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll be able to tell. Uh, just based on, again, Rick's in chat, and we can tell what times people exit and enter mm. rooms. It shouldn't be too bad. Mm -hmm. Sabi with a little more soul than he needed to coming into this room. Um, so he ends up with eight soul here when he only needs six. Clears with the exact six and gets the Balder kill in the first fireball skip. Yeah, very well executed. Uh, and from here, it's just going to be a bit of soul collection as we move forward for the second fireball skip. Oh, a dunk Bobby there. Dunking. Yeah. I'm not sure how that happened, but quite unfortunate. Doesn't turn around for the fireball skip. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of nerves from Sabi. This can also kind of be what Kaliris needs. When you're coming in with like a five minute difference in terms of your PBs, uh, if you don't get off to a much better early start, or at least a neutral early start, it can really be degrading uh, mentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very much true. This might give Kaliris the... Ooh, ooh, that was close. But it does make the second fireball skip. Yeah, um, so Kalirius 2 for 2, Sabi 0 for 1 so far. Yeah. And he's going to come up to the second one here, while Kalirius is at the third <laughs> one. Makes it 3 for 3. Very well done. It seems to me... Yeah, well, there you go, Sabi. It feels to me like Kalirius turns around really early, but the turnaround mm. is so good and the jump is so good that they're still getting the skips. Yeah. Like it feels like almost pixel perfect, but maybe maybe not quite. Maybe I'm just tripping. Yeah, it, it feels like they're turning around before the apex throw jump. I could be wrong. Clears misses the double fireball kill. Sabi bonked on the first attempt of the fireball skip, but gets it in the second try. It's still good, still good. Yeah, so it's still two for three. Um, mm. Kind of mitigating the loss there, because Sabi was losing somewhere along 15 seconds just in a couple of rooms, oh, and I shouldn't oh, have said anything. No. We've never seen this part of Green Path before. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Sabi unfortunately misses the jump and falls right down, trying to recover, falls down even further. Oh, that's going to be quite a time sink. Still yeah. very recoverable from Wasabi. Uh, some very well mid to late game can easily catch him back up, though. Yeah, and he gets the double kill. Um, or the double fireball, whatever you want to call it, kill. 
Um, but yeah, that is kind of like one of the unwritten rules of Hollow Knight, you know, that if you start falling and want to hit a platform, you will accidentally dodge every platform like the Matrix. Yep, yep. <laughs> the Matrix. That's a good comparison. As long as I say the Matrix, they have to pay us, right? This is product right. placement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Warner Brothers, definitely. They're going to pay uh, Speed Gaming for a name drop. <laughs> Probably worth mentioning while well, Kalaris is in this Hornet fight, and we'll probably bring the audio back to them after uh, Green Path. Mm -hmm. uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, the reason that you want to get that double fireball kill is partially so you don't have to spend extra time getting soul in the next room. Sabi missed enough up slashes that he actually had to get soul anyway, but the RNG he just got with those Moss Knights and the execution should make up for it. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, Kalaris getting a very good Green Path time. 8 minutes, 20 seconds for Mothwing Cloak. Yeah, um, I mean, they'll definitely have the lead. It's a question of how much of a lead, because mm -hmm. we're not used to seeing this big of a difference at Hornet. Um, Sabi has definitely has some nerves going on, messed up some stuff in Green Path that we don't normally see people mess up, and I'm sure that he doesn't normally mess up either. Still having a fairly good Hornet two fight. Hornet one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fairly good Hornet one fight. It's going to be about ten seconds behind. It looks like. About, yeah, and perhaps more even. Uh, Thirteen ish. That second hit from Sabi is. Uh, he's doing an up slash, so he's doing side slash up slash on Hornet, and he's getting hit in that up slash almost every time. I think mm -hmm. that second hit needs to be a side slash from him, especially if he's going to fight Hornet with that cycle. Very nice uh, fungal. Ooh, the hard fall. Never mind. Not, not very nice. <laughs> yeah, we're not allowed to say things. No, we will not. ruin them. We cannot say good things at all. We no. should just do the uh, the Virgil reverse commentator's curse and talk shit, <laughs> shit on them and <laughs> they'll do good. Um, yeah, so 15 seconds actually less than I thought. Um, there, Sabi had some big issues. Uh, but it looks like it doesn't amount to too much. Again, 15 seconds when Sabi's PB is 7 minutes off record and Kalir is even 7 minutes off that. That doesn't mean too much in the early game, so very easy for Sabi to come back from something like that. Kalaris is running very cleanly right now, though. Like, very little mistakes that I can really pick up on. Um, and yeah. yeah, certainly. I don't want to take credit away from them. Um, it does take skill to capitalize on the other person making mistakes. Of course, you yourself don't have or have to not make the mistakes. And with a you know a 102 time, um, this is looking very clean. Yeah, yeah. And with okay, a first again. try, you pogo as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you breathe the bit. Clarice is going to do a mantis pogo here. Let's see if she can um, execute. Ooh. You need to Ooh. say they'll fail. If you say they're going to do the mantis pogo, we're ruined. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, Sabi's going to come around. I think he is a room off from getting uh, to E Pogo, where we Pogo off an E explosion. Not, not, not a physical E, but yeah. What? What? <laughs> what did you just say? I'm so confused. <laughs> we Pogo okay. off an E explosion? Sabi actually didn't even get the guy to shoot down. Which is oh. pretty rare. Looks like it's still pretty clean. It's about seven seconds lost from not getting that guy to shoot down at the start and having to restart it. Maybe even less than seven seconds. A lot more time lost from Kalirius with uh, missing the Mantis Poker, though. So Sabi mm -hmm. can actually take the lead on Claw here. I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, yeah, it's very much possible. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh no! that's why I poker that guy twice. Why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, rough. All right. Well, this is. This is just general recommendation for newer runners, or like even even more veteran runners. Like if you're not going for world records times, just pogo the second mantis twice, please. Mm -hmm. it, it takes like less than half a second, and it is so much more consistent. You won't have to do what Sabi's doing right now. Exactly. It's it's just way too safe. The safety outweighs the the time gained from not doing it. Comes around a rule today. Yeah, we're actually impressively cursing these people. Yeah, I'm like holy jeez. Uh, Kalaris up coming up to the what is I guess technically the third boss in the game, uh, Gruz Mother. There is a fairly consistent way to uh, kill it quickly. Let's see if they can execute. You can't be mid yon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, we get all the fireballs. Uh, these nail swings at the end looking kind of scuffed, yeah. but at least all the fireballs got in. You can get much more out of sync if you don't hit those first three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grez decided to fly way up for some reason, more than usual, I think, there. Yeah, bad pattern from Grez Mother, and just a couple barely missed nail hits. Sami missing this first um, up slash, by the way. You need to get six hits of soul. Missing one of these on the way isn't too bad. Uh, if you miss two, it becomes hard to get that six. There's always the backup of killing Jenny that Sabi can still do. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Claire's had a good um, cleanup with the uh, baby grazes, only having one escape. Again, it flew really high. Um, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I was watching some Sabi movement. I got scared. It, I saw it too. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> Going out to kill Jennifer here. Bam. Yeah. Bye bye. And we're coming out to an e pogo with Claire's here. This no. death. Whoa, shade, shade, skip, go. shade, skip. That's it. Uh, you pogo. Why did I? Right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> equip the shaman stone. By the way, Sabi with a very clean uh, Gruz kill as well. Ooh. Ooh, Clarice forgot to upslash, but makes it work. Pretty yep. good uh, recovery there. That's good. Nice cleanup. Yeah, that was really good. A bit quicker than Kaliris's as well. Mm -hmm. No gate storage, though. Uh, I hate Sabi. Oh, rip. Love me an Epoka. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of Geo, these guys are pretty close. 206 is pretty average. I think 200 is kind of the minimum that you'd want to go in. Sabi a little bit more at 213, but I, I don't really think there's too much of a, uh, too much worth mentioning there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this part of the run is pretty dash heavy. We're just gonna go kill a couple things to get a bunch of gold, uh, and then head over to get a dash slash uh, for eight eight hundred geo. And it, yeah, it's just a bit of movement, bit of slashing. Yeah, something I personally realized, this room that Kaliris is in right now, there's a lot of deviation in this room. I used to think the enemy placements would lose you like a second or two. You can easily lose like five to even more than oh, that yeah. seconds. But well done. Um, yeah. They see the enemies on the right, dash over to the right there and just fireball and kill everything. Mm -hmm. Quick and easy. Yeah, if one of the little guys there is in like the corner where the window is, it becomes increasingly difficult to be able to clear efficiently. Yeah, and Rick's coming in with the timing. It looks like somewhere within Grusmother and Fungal, I assume more Grusmother than Fungal, um, Sabi saved about uh, seven seconds, so mm -hmm. only eight seconds behind Kalira nice. now. We're coming up to Gold Boy here, Gorgeous Husk, uh, with Kaliris. I don't know why, but I always struggle with uh, Gorgeous Husk. I know the pattern, I just can never execute on the pattern. <laughs> I struggle with calling Gorgeous Husk, Gorgeous Husk. I also yeah. struggle calling him a he. It is a he, right? I have no idea. I think it's a he canonically, I, but I don't know. I doubt there's any official gender. Well, I've said she before and I've been corrected. So now, now I'm scared. I mean, I don't know. The, the, the grunts are, I guess, fairly masculine, but even that's not <laughs> a good indicator I don't know. Rick, if, I, if anyone knows let us know in chat rix is pointing out something actually relevant about the race which is weird i don't know why you do that um apparently sabi had a weird shaman equip question mark does sabi not have shaman on no, looks like he does yeah uh maybe he did the thing where um you don't equip it when you respawn you uh, aggro your shade and then sit on the bench and equip it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. people like to do that. In, in theory, neither of them lose time. I actually like that one. Um, the reason people don't do that too much, I think, as Kaliris does hoppers, and I completely ignore the fact that they're just absolutely killing it, mm -hmm. um, is because it used to be that you could equip Shaman Stone while you were in your death animation, so people got used to equipping it right after death. Um, but I actually like what Sabi did, if he actually did that. Uh, where you equip it waiting for your shade to come over to you. It's easier to not lose any time. Yeah. Because you gotta wait for the shade to come anyway. I feel like it's probably saves a, even more time over the respawn. Yeah, I mean, in theory, you can equip the Shaman Stone before, like, the knight wakes up, so you don't lose any time in the respawn. Also, in theory, the shade's coming toward you anyway, so you don't lose any time there. Like, yeah. it shouldn't matter, but I think it's easier to do the, uh, like, 
the one that Sabi did. Yeah, fair enough. We'll see how Sabi does with these knights. It's actually going to be hard to compete against Kalirius' split. They both had a pretty clean, uh, gorgeous husk, and Kalirius had very nice mm. uh, hoppers. Yeah, and Sabi seemingly like he knows what he's doing. He's a little low on soul for the way that most people do it. He needs to get mm. full soul here somehow. Yeah, there's going to be an issue here. Ooh. Eh, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, mix it up. Has enough for the dash slash, so... Yeah, it looks like maybe not as practiced hoppers. Um, normally, on the first row of hoppers, you do one more nail hit, because you can have all three of them line up, and you get a free three hits of soul, and it makes the second row much quicker. But um, Sabi seemed to have not too much trouble with it. He did take three damage, but he didn't slow down too much. Yeah, um, pretty good. <laughs> Clears with a really random pogo. Might have been fat fingered there, but still <laughs> makes the spire pogo and Ooh. a nice dash off this. This is some good movement for someone with that, a one or two. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> that was very clean. Uh, Clear is coming up to uh, Soul Sanctum here, getting our first upgrade as well of the game soon. The Shade Soul. Uh, I guess this is technically the first instance of a dash lash lever skip, <laughs> if you can count that. Um, but there'll be a lot of them coming up soon. Maybe more of a dash slash lever than a dash slash lever skip. Yeah. Halfway. Halfway. Uh, the prime example will be coming up after this room here. I could tell. I was watching Sabi's move through King Station. I could tell he was going to dash off the platform, and Dread filled me, and then he was clutch and dashed back onto the platform. Ooh, okay. That's good. Kalirius with great movement, though. I wonder if Kalirius' PB is actually a 102, because the movement so far... Uh, the VS split was a little shaky. You normally don't expect um, a 4x, a 3-4x. Mm -hmm. But since that, there's been, uh, I guess, you know, Mantis Pogo. But they both messed up Mantis Pogo, so we don't yeah. count that. Other than that, there's been no real mistakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Sabi's struggling with hitting the lever. Yeah, this is, this is trouble. Yeah, oh. Okay, there you got it that time, I believe, yeah. He needs to get through this room, then he can heal. He's going to take this bench. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, definitely. It'd be very scary if he do didn't. Yeah, your other option would be go through the room, go through the dark room, and then just heal three times. Mm -hmm. Which one's quicker? Not entirely sure, but at least he's got soul this time. Or this route, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Probably optimally the heal. I mean, optimally you probably just do everything at 2 HP. <laughs> yeah. But Sabi definitely choosing the safer strat. Missing one of the doubles is Kalirus. One more Shade Soul. I wouldn't try to nail this guy down. It takes forever. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Let's the Shade Soul out. It's like one Shade Soul is equivalent to like seven nail hits or something. Yeah, like 8,000 or something like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Too many to want a nail hit. Because that guy is very exactly four nail hits and four Shade Soul hits. Mm -hmm. So if you miss one of the Shade Soul hits, you really don't want to try to like make it up with nails. It's just not going to work out well for you. Yeah. Uh, a bit of an RNG room where the soul twister, is it called, uh, teleports right into Kaliris, causing a couple hits of damage, but still makes it through. Has enough health to fight the boss coming up here. Yeah. And Sabi following in Kaliris' footsteps, going to go get Shade Soul. We didn't really comment on the, I guess, what is the first lever skip, uh, but here, you'll see here. There we go. <laughs> Beautifully executed. Uh, Kaliris is going to fight Soulvaster. Nice quick kill. Holy. Yeah. One more, one more. No, just Shade Soul. Ah! It's dying. Just kill no. it. Thank you. <laughs> very well done still. Um, lost a couple of seconds, but still, very well done. Yeah, I, again, I don't know if Kaliris has a 102 or <laughs> perhaps mm -hmm. they're going to PB this race, honestly, if they keep up this pace. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they probably have an unofficial unofficial time that's not on SRC. Mm -hmm. And if anyone happens to know that, please let us know in chat. Um, but yeah. I think if you're Sabi here, this is when you start actually getting scared. I think mm -hmm. losing, being down 15 seconds when you had a green path that was much worse than your normal green path, all right, it happens, people mess up parts of races, but you're racing in someone with a 102, right? At this point, Kalirius has played much better than you probably expect if you're Sabi. Yeah. Plus, you've had, like, some pretty bad splits. This is not the early game you wanted. 
No. And Sabi is... Yeah, oof. His yeah. movement, unfortunately, is not where it usually is. I mean, yeah. And fair enough if you have the nerves at this point, because you're down, what, 36 seconds? According to Rick's. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, as Serpa said, this is still very recoverable. He just needs to pull himself together a bit. I know he's been practicing uh, his mid and late game a lot more than he has his early game. That might come into play later, um, but it also might be too late. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's too late, right? I just think that you're behind when you expect it to be neutral or ahead, and you're behind by over half a minute. Mm-hmm. In, in a way, I think it's pretty good for us. I think we're going to get a really cool race. Because I think, just based on their PBs, it seems like Sabi should have generally faster movement. But Kaliris is at this point starting with a, you know, 36. After this fight, it might yeah. even be closer to a 40 second advantage. Yeah. I mean, Sabi's having a really slow Soul Master. Yeah. I, I think that's probably a little slower than Kaliris is. I don't know how much... I wasn't paying too much attention. Probably, I would say, 5 to 7 seconds. Luckily, we have Ricks for these things. Yeah, exactly. Timing master. Like, things like what Kaliris did in the a couple rooms ago, where they dash twice and then pogo the background object so they get an extra dash off, that's just not something that I see people with over an hour doing. It is yeah. slightly faster, just something that, like, you tend not to learn those really precise dash movement strats because you don't need to for a long time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, saving a few seconds here or there is, like, when you have, as Palm said, of over an hour, you don't need all that stuff to get sub-hour or anything, but when you are going for those minute time saves, that's when it starts to be very much needed. Ah, uh, okay, we have Tsira in chat saying Kalir's PB was 56.14 in their last race. Oh, okay, okay. That's making some sense. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And Sabi's is also a 56, yes? Uh, mid-57, I believe, at least on the leaderboards. Okay. Clear is getting the 300 Geo. Pretty good Geo. Uh, getting to 305 is a nice number. Um, you tend not to be... You don't want to actually be too much more than 300, because you don't need that Geo, and it's more or less just an indication that you've messed up your Geo somewhere along the way. <laughs> Yeah, we get all the Geo we need from a chest later in the run. Um, yeah. Sabi accidentally fake diving. <laughs> Barely um, hits the floor. Fake diving on the right side even, which is quite surprising to see. Interesting. Doing it for the fans. <laughs> uh, Clarus coming up to a fairly RNG heavy, a fairly cycle heavy section of the game. Uh, Crystal Peaks, or Sea Peaks, as we like to call it. Uh, gonna go get a couple of abilities here. That was a very nice uh, early control. Um, with our new dive, we'll be able to access Sea Peaks. Go through the rooms to be able to get our Crystal Heart, and then afterwards go through a Dark Room to get our Desolate Dive. Both very powerful abilities for the race to come up. <laughs> Almost Sabi better. was way too close. That that guy's nailed us two damage. Sabi would have been out of the race if he got hit by that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Myla. Bye, Myla. <laughs> Myla's fine. We don't have Dreamers. We no, don't have Sea Dash. I was just saying hi. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We pass them by. Uh, there's a lot of interesting, like, little techniques you can do in Sea Peaks. Like, coming up here, there's this Lantern Pogo that Calaris, oh, almost gets. Not quite. And more importantly, Pogax does not go for it. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, I think with this lead and potentially, you know, with the 56 mm. PB, you really don't have to go for it. So I'll be on the, on the other screen, by the way. 299 Geo, you hate to see it. Oh, no. I was saying you didn't want to be over 300, but I didn't mean be one under 300. <laughs> yeah. Clear. Yeah, uh, yeah. Apparently has not remembered load normalizer for every single race. Hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, really? Mm, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Mm. I wonder if they just don't know how to set it up. Uh, that's not an excuse. It's a very good, well done tutorial by Insomnia. Well, sure. I mean, like, they should be setting it up. When when people don't leave some load normalizer, like I know Insomnia has made a general post about it. It's like a slap on their wrist. Like, hey, you know, try to make the race a little more viewable, a little more calmable. Mm -hmm. um, forgetting it four times is a little questionable. I'll agree. Mm -hmm. Either way, there's not a penalty as of now. We're not going to retroactively make a penalty for this race or anything. Maybe something to discuss. That's a really Ooh. bad piece of damage right there. Yeah. Especially if Kalirus doesn't know damage list. Dash Lash? No? No. Alright. Going a long way. So honestly, now that I know that Dash Lash uh, uh, trick, it's almost harder to go this off isn't damage the platform. Yeah, this isn't damageless. Yeah, this isn't damageless. He can make it. Ah, uh, that was the smartest thing to not go. What are you doing? <laughs> Holy, I can't watch this. Oh, no. We're oh, that? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh my okay, gosh. everything's okay. Absolute <sighs> content. Yeah, no killer. What was that? The craziest damage cycle you've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, Clarice isn't out of the woods yet, either. There is an intentional damage tank later, like, before we can heal. Uh, there's also a Dark Room. Mm -hmm. There's also Crystallized Mound. So yeah, healing 1 HP here, almost obligatory. We'll see how Sabi fares in peaks, but this could be a chance for him to catch up. Uh, any Pogax? <gasps> oh! Oh! No, uh... no, no, He had her hopes up for a second. Uh... You don't have enough soul, my guy, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's got it under control. <sighs> okay. Stompers. Ooh. That was very well. <laughs> I was gonna say Kalirus plays the Stompers pretty safe here. Um, they waited quite a bit for the second Stomper, oh. but then just dashed right into the third one. So. Oh, Sabi. Okay. Sabi had a strat there. That's actually not too bad. You don't lose much time. Kalirus oh. going for dashes here at 2 HP. Looks like they know what they're doing. Yeah, very yeah, clean. Very well executed. Doesn't even need any soul to... Oh, but he's gonna go for it anyway. Yeah, safety. Yeah, that's fair. Might want to heal one. Yeah. Yeah, actually a pretty good split. I mean, a scary split, and Clear's definitely lost some time in the C-Peaks. Yeah. Uh, or, sorry, the C-Dash room. But other than that, you know, if you're Clear's here, you're happy to just be out of the split alive. Oh. Sorry took in a couple unfortunate hard falls in that one room alone. Unfortunate. Yeah, my expectation is Savi still saves time in this um, uh, yeah. C dash split. Definitely, especially with that um, one two damage fall that Clearis took, having to reset the room as well, and he gets through very well. Yeah, Savi's Sob okay. showing off the actual damage. This is Clearis shows off the cool strat that we do with D Dark. Underplat, woo, <laughs> woo indeed. <laughs> Clearest didn't have a chance. Clearest was pogoing that platform. I cannot yeah, believe it. That was crazy. Made it through, though, without dying. So, you know, pretty yep. good. Yeah. Sabi should be pretty safe here. 5 HP versus 1 HP. Uh, about as stark a difference as you can get. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Rick's coming in saying only a 16 second difference now. Sabi's still behind, but he made up most of the time loss um, from Clearest's C Peaks room. Or C dash. I keep saying C peaks room. There's a lot of room. It's the C dash room. C yeah, heart. It, crystal. Of, yeah. Whatever. It's all, it's all crystal, so it's understandable, but. Just getting hit by those crushers. He's waiting too long, too. They're out of sync now. Yeah. The interesting thing with these crushers is dying, like, freezes the crusher that killed you, so it actually changes the sync of the crushers. He's really struggling with these guys. Yeah. Trying to rush it a bit too much, I think. He clips over. See Kalirus with the C dash here? Do we cancel yeah. it? Are we cool? <gasps> Kalirus oh, is cool. Oh, let's go. Cool. I can't even do that. I've never tried. <laughs> 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 Sabi also going with dashes, messes up a little bit, knows how to get back in the swing of things. Three more dashes here, and he only needs two more. And he'll look fine, a little sketchy at the end, but he gets through it. Yeah, very well. It didn't look as clean as Kalirus, but hey, same effect, same time, so. Yeah, he, he shouldn't lose much time on it. It was just a little scarier going through it. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, now that Clearis has all, everything we wanted from the Sea Peak section, we are going to go fight the Watcher Knights here, or as it's been effectually dubbed, D Dark Go Burr. <laughs> D Dark do indeed go burr. And this is the reason that we had to do this whole section without taking a bench. We wanted to save quit all the way back to this bench inspire, as I'm sure if you've watched enough of these races, mm -hmm. probably already know. And Sabi here, we missed this on Kaliris' run, but he is going to use an animation slide there to get early control while it's giving us the D-Dark there. And we can just fly out and not even have to pass the text box, which is pretty great. I hate when that Shade Soul, on Kaliris' side, when that Shade Soul uh, fires left instead of right, it's so annoying. Oh yeah, because you're like on the wall or something. Yeah, it's like as you're entering the wall and you don't know why you didn't turn around, then you just blame game. <laughs> One, two, it takes three D-Darks to destroy the Watcher Knights. Um, so that's why people tend to say it's a fairly easy fight. It's not in totally for you. Yeah, but Clarice is getting good patterns here. Uh, Already through the second phase after those Dream Nails. That was so lucky. Not a single jump. First. Yeah. Yeah, both nail hits is quite nice. You want this guy to roll left. And he bounces left, but this is nearly as good as your Watch Knight's RNG is going to get. Clear is unfortunately yeah. a little slow to make use of it. Um, but it's actually, when the guy bounces instead of rolling, it's pretty hard to take advantage of that RNG. Ooh, unfortunately, I didn't get too many hits on that guy, but oh well. And now he's just going to go up to get the Dreamer. Sabi is in the Dream World. Uh, I love Dream World in all skills because you can just dash over here, get on this roof, and then just fly across the whole stage. <laughs> Almost completely eliminating uh, uh, platform jumping. Yeah, and a pretty similar Dream Platforms from the two runners. The difference that you see is Kaliris technically saved a little bit of time by canceling their C-Dash mm -hmm. before they hit the platform, whereas Sabi crashed into the platform. People have different timings for the two methods. Uh, actually, it seems... Oh yeah, with the Stompers room, Sabi lost a bit of time. Yeah, that's the big thing. I, I mean, I think most of these time losses have been big things. It's been Sabi falling in Green Path. Um, it's been... How did Sabi... Lost. Sabi lost a ton of time on, like, uh, what's it called? City. Oh, yeah, lack of Geo. I think he had to really go out of his way to collect Geo. Yeah, even before, like, Sanctum, Sabi lost a lot of time. Yeah, oh, the Soulmaster fight, I think. Oh, yeah, and the Dark Room. That was the big one. The Dark yeah. Room at the beginning, Sabi had so oh, much yeah. trouble with. He got hit three that, times. Right. Three. Plus, his uh, Soul Warrior fight was also fairly slow. Missing it's a lot, of, a lot of little things. Yeah. Sabi missing that nail hits such a pain, because now you mm -hmm. can't... <laughs> I mean, both of them are going to end up not using Shade Soul on this thing. <laughs> They're both mm. going to get with the nail. Clearest yeah. got the Watcher Knights Geo from the chest there. Uh, everything we'll ever need from here on out. And with 6, 5, 665, looks like... They got pretty much mm -hmm. all of it, which is what you yeah. want to see. And Savi is Savi fighting. missing D-Dark? I'm not sure. That was weird. I feel like he used three and it didn't die, and I'm mm -hmm. confused. Maybe it was early. Yeah, the first one might have been early. I can see that. Uh, well, while Savi is having a good fight with the Watcher Knights, Kaliris is going down to go get uh, Isma's tier. There's three really fun skips here. Um... First one being Spike Tunnel, and then afterwards to Acid Skips, but ooh, unfortunately doesn't get it first try. It always feels so good when you just fall down, dash at the wall there, and then get it. But second try is still very, very well done. Yeah, we'll take second try any day. Yeah. Absolutely. Shade Soul's here to get a worm that you actually can't see. It's dead on the right of the screen. Um, so you don't crash into it with the C-Dash. Looks like Clear's to set up list here. You love to see it. So well executed. Uh, I don't know if that left slash works. We're gonna no, find out. It'll, it'll work. That'll work. I believe. I lied. I lied. It's not gonna work. I don't believe. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> Normally, you'll see them. <laughs> it actually just made their life harder. <laughs> oh no. Uh, normally you'll see runners up slash there. We'll see if Sabi doesn't explain it then, but you can get cancelled out of that picking up Isma's animation. A little bit of possible time save for Sabi, although I expect he lost a bit of time to Watcher Knights, because Clear's mm -hmm. had a really clean fight. 
Yeah, it looked like Sabi's RNG it wasn't as good as clear as then having to jump and roll around everywhere. Taking some to heal to four there. It's a little mm. safe. Yeah. I mean, if Viz can die on Broken Bridge <laughs> oh, with God. three health, Dude, I, guess, the, I guess anyone can. The poor guy will never live that down. I, feel <laughs> I have nothing but respect for the man. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, we need to say, like, haha, Viz died in what was it, the basin room. But then with, like, three asterisks. Like, no, wait, we actually love this. <laughs> just just <laughs> clarifying. Uh, oh, I completely missed Saw Sabi's Geo. I thought he had like 400 something. Oh, <laughs> you might need to go back. Hold on, no, wait. But wait, there's uh, more. <laughs> Kalir is coming up to a fairly RNG heavy part of the run. Ooh, cancel the C dash early. Uh, coming up to Maldek Room. Uh, very cycle, but mostly RNG uh, heavy. Uh, there's a couple efficient ways to deal with it, however, even still then, you can get hit. See how they deal with it. The first right, well, one... You go ahead. Yeah, the first one didn't look like it was planned. It looked like Clears might have just gotten lucky, but it might also be a setup I'm not familiar with. Gets under this one, which can hit you occasionally, that's nice. Also waits on the wall jump, which is really nice, uh, to avoid the next Molex. So still at 4 HP here. It's gonna be 4 or 3 HP going into BB. Both of those you'll take, and in fact, it's gonna be 4 HP. Sabi also getting Spike Tunnel on the second try here. Let's see if he can execute, hopefully as well as Kaliris with these Acid Skips. Yeah, Kaliris had these next two Acid Skips really well. Setup list from Kaliris, I think Sabi goes for a setup. Sometimes Sabi can save, it's not actually too much, but he can upslash that horn, but hopefully show off what we were trying to say earlier. Yeah, Sabi does mm -hmm. go for uh, the setup. Oh yeah, that should work. Setup list list if you prefer. And yeah, getting hit by the warmth here gives you early control while it gives you the crystal... Sorry, Isbun's tier here. Yep. And also kind of glossed over, but Kaliris had a really good start to this Broken Vessel fight, but it looks like kind of slowing down after the initial. Still fairly quick though. Yeah, it looked like they didn't get any headbang attacks to really capitalize on and had some problems keeping Broken Vessel in their stagger. But it's mm. a fine fight. It always sucks when you uh, stagger Broken Vessel, like as it's going into its headbang animation. The worst. So it's interesting the way that Rick's times in chat. It's Exit Ismas. So Exit Ismas, um, if we're counting that, we've already accounted for the time save that Sabi has from getting the earlier Hwarp. Mm -hmm. So Sabi is still 21 seconds behind. Which is definitely very makeupable. I mean, these guys are very close, especially considering Sabi might have a better late game given their PB times. But yeah, or no, sorry, Kaliris has the Kaliris technically has the better PB. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, honestly, a good broken vessel fight might just catch Sabi up. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Kaliris is now heading on to what a lot of people consider the hardest boss in this game, Hornet 2. Uh, the parries are kind of crazy, but hopefully, or I'm sure Kaliris with, will be able to handle it very well. Yeah, it's an interesting boss fight. Um, one of the biggest RNG sections, you can get a lot of parries. Also a really, really big execution section, and also probably the most likely place to die. Uh, that or the Isma skips. Definitely the most likely boss to get killed on. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Kelly is better at late game than early usually. If that's true, Sabi has a lot to be scared of. Yeah, definitely. His own words. Well, are, are you saying... Okay, never mind. What? Sorry. It's exactly what I'm saying. I don't even know what you mean. <laughs> yes, okay. Sabi right side? Does Sabi go for basin skip? Oh? Mm. Uh, oh. Mm. oh, hey! Oh, all right, hey, hey! You love nice. to see it. <laughs> the little mistake at the beginning, plus the having to retry, might might actually make it not much faster. Like yeah, a second, maybe, but you know, we'll take it. Hey, it's still some sort of time save. It's still basin skip. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so I'm with the two doubles here. Close to a stagger, you might even VS here. Yeah, he does. 
So you can D-Dark. You want to see more D-Darks here to keep BB and Stagger, but he gets the headbang attack, so it's not going to matter anyway. BB's going to stay in place as we absolutely demolish him. Yeah. Should be very close to dead. And yeah, the last D-Dark yeah. kills him. Good fight. That was actually, that saved a whole lot of time compared to yeah. Clarence's Broken Vessel fight. All right. Here's the Hornet 2 fight. Clarice does not have enough soul to do. D-Dark gets an instant parry, but is able to avoid it. Maybe Shade Soul there. Shade Soul's late, doesn't get the double. Yeah. Uh, also taking two damage so far is pretty scary. Hornet hasn't staggered once. He, they barely can't get in enough hits to stagger. Also dodges the parry. Maybe a double oh. hit here. Dude, stop, Hornet. What are you doing? So this hard. is scary. We're at one oh. HP before Hornet staggers. And he Shade Soul's there, so he doesn't have room to heal. Oh my gosh. Or into six so hits to stagger, unless you take too long. It's too long, we'll need six more hits. Also reset on that attack. Barely dodges that. This is such a problem. Oh, oh yeah, it's the wrong button. Instead of wings, we're going to see oh. an inventory. Oh, no. And just Where such an run? ugly fight. This... Uh, no safety bench. Yeah, this puts Sobby Knight in the lead, for sure. Uh, it kind of looks even. However, you must remember, uh, the load times are quite off. Um, yeah, that's two minute lead now. I mean, you can yeah. see them dash from across the same room with two minutes difference in the timers. Yeah, F indeed. Yeah, F and chat indeed. If this... Sabi sees this, Sabi might bench. Yeah. This for sure. Oh, <laughs> missed the bell. You didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a little ringing sound. FYI. <laughs> Don't bully him too hard. <laughs> <laughs> He's two minutes in the lead. I can bully him now. Yeah, all right. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, this is absolutely what Wasabi needed to be able to win this match. Uh, there, I mean, there's other things he could have used, but uh, this is one of the more prominent. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Sabi was out of the match by any means. It, it was going to be a very close match, and it still can be if Sabi dies mm -hmm. to Hornet potentially or dies to something later. But without a death, it's really hard for Clears to make up this time. I absolutely want to see Sabi take the camp bench. Yes, I think if he's watching the restream, he probably does. Mm -hmm. um, if not, or if he's not watching it recently, but he was earlier, um, he might know that he was behind, or at least have a feeling that his early game was bad and he might be behind. If you're not watching the stream, you probably don't bench. That's just my guess, though. Maybe. We'll see. Clears takes the camp bench, and Sabi is going Sabi, to Sabi, no. It. Yeah. Clears takes its second try. You'll see that a lot. Um, dying to Hornet once is bad. Dying to Hornet twice without taking that safety bench is infuriating. And you're yeah. going to be tilted out of your mind. So we're both going into the Hornet fight here. The audio on Sabi this time. Again, Sabi is in the lead by about two minutes, maybe a little bit under. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see how he does with his first fight. Here we go. Uh, synced Hornet fight. Clears gets it in a little early because he doesn't have to go through the text and everything. But oh well. Right, is just pairing for Kaliris. Mm, man. Pretty safe fight from Sabi. Yeah. He's missing the Shade Soul. It's not fast at all, but he's only taken one damage before Hornet Staggers in comparison to the four we saw from Kaliris. Mm. Two damage, though, this isn't the cleanest, and Kaliris is having a good fight at four HP still. Yeah. Good stagger. This is, yeah. Still, it's fairly <laughs> uh, similar fights. Never mind. Uh, this is a scared Sabi fight, but, like, it should yeah. be, right? You want to be scared here. Clear is taking the time to heal. I respect it. You definitely want to. 1 HP. They cannot oh. seem to react to that and jump out of the way. And Sabi yeah. finishes the fight first. Without wow. a great fight, Kaliris' fight is really struggling. Yeah. Kaliris don't die. Oh my god, that's scary. Shades will not kill. Shades all. How does Shades will not kill? Oh, oh no! no. Okay, well, Kaliris now has a very sizable, um, not, what's the opposite of a lead? Deficit? Following. Deficit, that's, that's the word. Uh, behind now for Asabi by probably at least three minutes, I would say, if not more. Yeah, I mean, we'll see when Kaliris ends up getting King's Brand, or more specifically when Hornet uh, brings them out of the snow. But for Asabi, it's a 38-15. For Kaliris, it's going to be at least like a 41-15. Yeah. Ugh. Unfortunate. Yeah, this has Holy Turnaround. I mean, Sabi needs to not die. That's that's the gist of it at this point. Yep, we did just... say this is the fight where you probably die the most. Yeah. I mean, Hornet 2 has taken the lives of... The most lives out of any monster of the racers. <laughs> 
Fierce does not get a break with the parries here. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> when it was about to do another one, and Clarice was like, no, sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> well, hopefully this time Clarice will be able to get through the fight very, well, very efficiently. Yeah, I mean, the damage isn't terrible here. I don't think 3 HP is the worst spot here. For most people, I wouldn't be too worried about it. It's just Clarice has had so many problems, especially with that dash and the ground attack. I don't know if there's, like... A, a nerves problem or like I, I don't know you just have to be able to react to that and jump over yeah i mean hornet is definitely there oh go. there we go um has been the biggest struggle point for clearest everything else has been very clean very well done but hornet seems to just be not too great maybe it's just had the very very rough rng at the first few seconds of the first fight and that he, it affected him from there but i don't know it could be a nerves thing. I mean, to me, it just seems like there's definitely bad luck with the parries, right? That was not a lucky fight from Kaliris. None of them were. No. But at the same time, it, it seems like those dashes on the ground were the biggest struggle for them. Like, it just seemed like every time Hornet started that dash, I don't know if Kaliris was mid-nail swing or kind of deer in headlights or couldn't react or something, but mm -hmm. they kept getting hit by that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, about a four-minute difference. Why is somebody going... <laughs> what? I guess you can see dash from that platform, so you never hit the enemy below. That's interesting. Hmm. Nerves for sure. Yeah, I mean... I, I think nerves are especially potent once you get hit once or twice in the beginning of a fight. Like, nerves will really get to you then. Especially with the lead that they had. Like, a 20-second lead is like, okay, I need to have a good fight here, I need to maintain this, I need to do well. And then you're just beating yourself up if you, you know, mm -hmm. get hit a couple times at the very start, because it's already not a good fight, and now you're struggling to survive. <laughs> One HP before first time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it hits the enemy from the plat as well. Okay, I don't know why I saw these C-dashes from that plat, then. I'm going to judge him. Silently. Oh, um, I mean, that wasn't very silent, but... I don't know. I need my silence. Alright, we'll take a moment of silence. All right, that's enough. Uh, okay. Savi gets Cyclone Slash. Um, we haven't really been talking about the race, but here it's just kind of... <laughs> Savi's going into options. Uh <laughs> what? <laughs> he turned the music on? Oh Respect. God. What a king. How does he know where that is? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we have music. Let's go. Imagine knowing how to get to that in the Chinese menu. Sabi's Chinese confirmed? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hawaiian, Chinese... Uh, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna make that joke. That's a really bad joke to make. I don't know why I thought to... Yeah, moving on. Uh, Sabi <laughs> is gonna come fight Umu. Uh, he just has to make it through uh, Infected Crossroads and Fog Canyon. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, again, it... <laughs> I even would take a safety bench in archives from Sabi, right? Like you're you're so far in the lead, you're far enough in the lead to add music to the game. Like yeah, you should be enough to safety bench. <laughs> he has right. to be watching the race. Uh, I at think this point, for I, sure, he must be watching the race, and he must not have benches at, benched at Hornet too, just as a pride thing or something. Yeah, I think he's a little cocky when it comes to Hornet too. <laughs> uh, Fair even, enough. Even though in practice beforehand, he was dying many times. Wow, shots fired. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, it's it's a little it's a little bit manga, if you ask me. But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the arrow spam from Kalaris. Dude, I feel bad. They they were having a good race. They had a really tight time going. Their PBs were within a minute of each other, apparently, which I didn't even know. And then yeah. just that Hornet two fight. Sabi <laughs> waits to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a double stun or something. One cycle, one cycle? Do you believe? Um, Sabi, you can't this. be here. Careful. I'm starting to lose faith and we haven't even started the fight yet. I believe. Short attack, good. We want another short attack. Okay, long attack. We have one of each. Um, hopefully we see another short attack. We can do shoot two short, one long. It was easily low enough. Yeah, we shouldn't get an extra. Oh, it should be too no. short one long. This is ugly. He needs to get farther right. Yeah, he does not go for the one cycle setup. I did not know this. He... I think he does. I think uh, he just figured he could uh, do it. 
And then okay, well, Kalyrus could come back. Yeah. A one cycle. Well. This is, you know, if I'm Sabi here, I'm happy with a three cycle if I live. He didn't at take one the HP, bench. Yeah, he didn't take the bench, and at one HP, he didn't, right? I don't think he did. He did not take the bench. Wow, he okay. gets the two cycle. Nice. Oh, okay. Two cycle is still fine. Yeah. Very scary, but... <laughs> After that first cycle, I will 100% take a two cycle. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, well, if we look to the right here, Clearus might... He's he's gonna set up for a one cycle as well. Hopefully we'll be able to execute a little better than Savi did. Yeah, the one cycle setup tends to put you in the top right. If Clearus doesn't do it, we can explain what it is. This is ugly from Umu. Umu didn't go very far. Uh, whether or not Umu does an extra attack is dependent precisely on how far Umu goes, and yeah, it looks like we barely got away with three attacks. This is the one cycle set up really high, Umu will still do double, we need four hits. Oh. Last one's delayed enough too, yeah, it's a one cycle. Yeah, that was very impressive. Very well executed from Kalir is the one cycle Umu. Good job, good job. That is the happiest two cycle of Sabi's life, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I believe it. <laughs> Kalir's has a lot of potential, man. I mean, you see these, like, gate storages and all, all these micro-movements that Kaliris is doing. Like, yeah. I would not be surprised if they showed up with a 52 in a week. Yeah, for sure. Definitely has learned the run, run very well from that 104 time that we see a month ago. Alright, so most importantly, does Sabi do left side or right side archives exit? This will decide how much I judge him for the next week. Alright. Uh, right side. Alright, better not be. Better not be right side. Oh, uh, what is this? Alright, he's getting judged. Is left side quicker? I think it's been lab to be quicker. It it, it doesn't matter. It's like okay. within a second, but Alright, yeah. Judging time, moment of silence for the judging. Alright, now he's dashing out of archives. You do not give me much silence to judge people. <laughs> We're calming. We can't have Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, Savi is still going to keep his lead fairly well, even with the Umu 1 cycle from Kaliris. The time gap is still too big for that to matter. Yeah, again, Savi needs to survive, which, you know, he tried not doing on Umu, but he ended up surviving anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he really tried to die there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to have some movement splits here. Let's see what Savi does. Savi doesn't go for the... Savi doesn't go for anything fun. No lamp pogo, no air walk. What am I watching? Boring. Boring. <laughs> Give us a race, not a fucking. What? Not not a run. This is the pogo. Oh, the backup pogo. Okay, we got a backup pogo. I'll take that. There's some C dashes here. It's actually pretty cool to try and eye all this segment. It's like a two minute segment if you do it very well. Um, you'd be surprised how much you lose here. Uh, by this segment, I mean the segment, well, I guess the segment both of them are in, uh, mm -hmm. Sabi and Kaliris, both in different parts of the segment. It stinks, too, because Kaliris actually has made up some time in these past few splits. It really has. But Hornet, too. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that was so unfortunate with the Hornet, too. It's, even afterwards, seems to have recovered so well, getting the one cycle Umu and still having very clean movement. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, that happened. Sabi flexing his knowledge of uh, spike gaps. Well done. Ooh. Kaliris maybe not flexing their knowledge of where spikes are. Yeah. I, mean, I do that so much. Oh. And yeah, Sabi does it too in a different All spike. Right. I do that so much <laughs> where like I just continue the C-dash and I'm like, was I supposed to? And then the game is like, no, no, you weren't. Stop. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a save from Kaliris. You know, just as I was complimenting his movement, too. <laughs> <laughs> Calm's Curse is so real. We haven't, we haven't Calm's Curse since, like, the beginning of the run. I think we're, we're due. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Well, that was a really nice pogo, actually. Yeah, again, with, like, the wings pogo dash, C dash. I yeah. think I had the order wrong there. But, like, Kaliris knows so much of this micro that people don't learn until getting like 52s. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Really impressive. Uh, yeah, 52, definitely. Could definitely get there. 
Uh, now that we're got now that we've gotten Great Slash, we're gonna head to what is the final dark room of the game after going through Queen's Garden, heading to Deepness so we can get the final Dreamer Hera. Uh, it's an interesting split. Yeah, hard somebody tries. Go ahead. Hard to understand what's happening uh, if you're not too knowledgeable about the all skill speedrun, but it's still fun to watch. Yeah, in the dark rooms especially. Mm -hmm. We'll see how Sabi handles rates here. I've really enjoyed starting to watch runners' rates. Uh, I think a lot of them are similar, but some people go for uh, left side third cycle, some people go for right side up slashes third cycle. I don't know. I enjoy the race arena for some reason. My guilty pleasure. It's it's just enough RNG to be interesting and not frustrating. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that. Sabi had trouble with the uh, second squib of the first cycle. Ends up getting a sick up slash there and gets the yeah. Shade Soul on. Yeah, it's a good recovery. It started out pretty awkward, but he gets there. And yeah, Shade Soul once. That's actually intentional. That's yeah. not a failed heal. Because yeah. you got all your soul back here. I just realized that afterwards, so yeah. Uh, probably could have used a few more spells during the fight, I think, but still pretty clean. Uh, Clearis also executing. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, that was really quick, too. Yeah. Yeah, actually, with Clearis, again, not having load normalizer here, we end up in about the same rooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just with Sabi's timer, you know, three minutes ahead, it looks like, about. Yeah. Yeah, just about. Two minutes, like, 50 seconds-ish. I believe it. Three minutes and five seconds, exactly, apparently, so... <laughs> Interesting how watchable it is now. Yeah, Kaliris planned for this. That's why they didn't put on the load normalizer. Yeah, it's... Kaliris is, out. yeah, actually psychic, little known fact. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. definitely. This is an interesting room. Uh, changed in current patch from 1221, they just die to a single shade soul with Shaman Stone. And we get the underplat, blue. I love that underplat. It's I fun. feel like it's actually not that hard either, and it looks so cool, and it's fast. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for that. You, you decided right now? No, I, don't know. <laughs> I decided when I was ILing this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go for the Sabi spike dunk. I'm not not as much of a fan <laughs> of that one. <laughs> that one is very rough. Anyway, this is a pretty fun section. Sorry. I'm so mad he cancelled that CS. Someone's been playing too much current patch. <laughs> Rando. It's so weird. That is a difference between 1221 and current patch. One of the many ones that you can cancel that C dash in. Or sorry, you can not cancel that C dash in 1221 and you'll never get hit by that guy. Whereas in current patch, you usually will. I don't know what they changed. Mm. Probably movement. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> is he too far left? No, he's fine. Clear. Yeah, they're on like the same drop now. Yeah, it's actually really funny. Here's Full the dark one. Going. Uh, there are three rooms here. One of them is really small, but, uh, yeah, very nice, nice movement from Sabi. Yeah, and a safe dive from him, too. Mm-hmm. And then here we just dash a couple times, and then see dash out. And then this last room has proven to be very difficult for runners in the tournament here. Even some of the more competent ones. Yeah, messing this up once can really hurt you. Sabi not knowing where the gap is, but that's fine. It doesn't lose him too much time. Again, he has enough of a lead. He needs to go around to the left here. He didn't actually break the spike, so if he does have to come back, he's not in too much trouble, but he knows where this plot is. He knows where the sea dash is. Sabi actually gets mm. through this very cleanly. Yeah, very well done. And Clearis is just right at the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Oh, nice. That was a weird little dash, but worked out. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's, it's rough for Kaliris now. I think Kaliris needs a death at THK from Sabi, or a death to Sibling Climb or something. I don't even know if THK will do it. Sibling Climb will more than likely do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, guess, I guess, yeah, you're right. It would have to be, like, deaths to THK. Yeah, two I mean, deaths would do it for sure. The Hornet two deaths hurt so much because it was a, you know... A mm -hmm. decent way into the fight. You lose some time to just having to redo that part of the Hornet 2 fight. But the big one is that first death where you went all the way back to the base and bench. Yeah, I had to go all the way back to King Station and everything. Not good. And then unfortunately there was the second death as well. He did take the camp bench on the second try. 
but still having to put Hornet to three times, all three fights being fairly long. Yeah, it just yeah. Even the successful Hornet 2, they started before Sabi. Like, Sabi came in second and Sabi finished the fight first. Mm -hmm. And Sabi's fight wasn't, like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't all that exceptional, I'd say. It was, yeah. He missed, he missed a fair few Shade Souls, if I remember correctly. Was PB able from Sabi? 5022 Hera? I don't know. Uh, I doubt it. Speedrun.com slash Oh, yeah, no. Wasabi. What was your hair, Sabi? Sabi's hair was a 50-33. So yeah, he's actually ahead of PB. Really? Just barely, yeah. Is it... That's surprising. That is surprising. His early game was not great in this race. <laughs> no. He's not much ahead of PB, and it's worth noting in PB he did gold, shade cloak, and what is apparently a bish shriek that he has named re all caps in his splits. <laughs> Why are you name that's like the least annoying split in the game. Sorry, I'm well, judging again. No, it, howling wraiths. It's like they're they're wraithing, they're screeching. Oh, they're it's not about the split, it's about the shriek. I understand, yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not judging. Alright, no moment of sounds for this one. No. Um, fairly in sync uh C dashes from the two runners. Just literally one screen apart from each other. Very interesting. Did Sabi gold out? Yeah, Sabi actually golded everything after Hera in his PB. Wow. Okay. Sabi so, goes for Swag Door. With a weird setup, but it works out. Yeah, so Sabi just like stays on pace from here. He could PB, you're saying? Yeah, if if he stays on pace with again his PB, which is also his golds, um, he'll probably PB by not twenty two. Like twelve seconds. Better. But this is not voting too well. Yeah. He also has a race to win. Dying to sibling climb would put that quite in jeopardy. Yeah, I forgot about that for a moment. <laughs> the PB is all consuming. Yeah, and that's that's a heal that you don't do for a PB and you do for a race. So respect yeah. for I was gonna say knowing your place. That's definitely wrong. Respect for racing? Question understanding mark? the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds much oh. nicer. Oh no, Sabi does not understand oh, the situation. No. Oh no, Sabi. Okay. S somehow alive with the entire Italian mafia behind him. Oh gosh, uh, which uh, visibly does put Calaris ahead. Uh, Time-wise, however, not quite. Uh, but yeah. It must have been a really clean sibling coin from Calaris. I didn't really see, unfortunately. Yeah, Calaris was like 20 seconds ahead before Hornet 2 and has saved like almost 40 sides. Like, this might, this would probably be like a minute lead for them. Yeah, actually, it's really. Calaris cool. would probably be on PB pace. Yeah, definitely. Shade Cloak 52.44 in the PB. 50 oh. You gotta go oh. farther than that. 52.38 <laughs> here. So, yeah, like a six second lead on his PB right now. Damn. Sabi, you mean? Sabi, I mean. Okay. Uh, Kaliris has a PB that I can't watch because it's not in speedrun.com. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's a 56, so there's no way he's there, there, PB. That's not where you see dash. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Imagine me knowing the game. Crazy. Here, we're going to be coming up to the final ability or skill in this uh, all skills run Howling Race. Kaliris will be getting it first. This has to see dash a couple more times, kill a couple dark crawlers or whatever. Yeah, we're fortunate here we ended up like a room apart. <laughs> like, yeah. If if Kaliris had that like one minute lead right now, real time it would have been something like a five minute difference. He would have been done by now. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, instead they're in the same room. Yeah. And here we are, Howling Wraiths. Three. <laughs> Three indeed. <laughs> and yeah, you see both of them do it actually. This was a, a pretty recent discovery that you actually want to use Wraiths where it puts you to gather Shriek. You don't want to use it immediately because it dragging you to that middle part is slower than you just flying slash dashing to that middle part. Clear is struggling with that C dash. Yeah, though. I missed a C dash and now it's annoying to get out. Sabi still had a PB. We'll watch Clear's climb here. Yeah. Ooh. Right side? Okay, ooh, sure. Ooh. I'm not judging. 
That's interesting. Well, actually, it might have been slower. It's it's like the same route as most runners. It's just kind of the the extreme micro in terms of like where you dash and mm -hmm. jump are kind of weird. <laughs> Zombie with the same thing, but Zombies looks more natural. It just looks like safer. Clear his guts there, though. Zombie goes left side. He's scared. Zombie the PB. Zombie the PB. <laughs> Don't. It's gone. It's gone. PB's gone. I don't crap, know if crap. it's gone. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. It depends on how good like his golds are. Oh, where are you, Zombie? I don't know where you oh, are. Oh, DLC oh. content for the second time. <laughs> Downloadable content content. DLC content. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that was redundant. People say that so much. Yeah. D do they? I, I just hear DLC. Oh, maybe I'm dumb. Anyway, clear is coming up to the final boss in the game. Uh, we're not going to be fighting Radiance. However, we are going to demolish Hollow Knight, the Hollow Knight. VTHK. The THK. Yeah. What was Sabi PB? Sabi's PB is a 57.27. He was about 6-7 seconds ahead at a Bish Shriek, but he probably lost more than that on the climb. So, it looks like Kaliris is going to end uh, much sooner than Sabi. However, Sabi is ahead. His load times are about 2 seconds longer than Kaliris, uh, meaning... A bunch of seconds of load time that Clarius doesn't have. It's rough for Sabi to PB this. I would mm. expect not. He'd have to come... He'd have to be his golds, first of all. But he'd have to have, like, a super good fight. Yeah, I mean... RNG take the wheel, right? <laughs> RNG take the wheel. We'll watch Clarius' fight first. It should work out pretty well that when Clarius is done, Sabi will start the fight. Just about, maybe a little bit of overlap. Ooh. Yeah, an ugly dash. You don't want to see the dashes in all skills. Uh, even parries aren't too bad if you're a bit shrieking through them. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Clears with a really rough start here. No, oh, it's happening for Sabi. Uh, there's a really weird glitch for Sabi. Yeah, what uh, is this? Yeah, we call it Blue Room. Um, Makes sense. <laughs> basically, just the background unloads or something. Um, it doesn't affect the game at all, so we haven't really looked into fixing it. It looks so cool. It does look cool. Sabi is two seconds behind PB. Clear is dying. <laughs> Jesus, that's distracting. When did Clear is died? Oh no. Clear is died pretty quick there, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, his THK fight is just too good in PB. Mm -hmm. I mean, he needs to start getting every hit on the Bishriks now, which he got the hits there, he just got hit for it. Pretty early scream, actually. Ugh. Ah. Uh, I don't believe, Sylvia, I don't believe. I believe. Ah. Uh, he's, he's gonna go to the next phase, like, here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he's gonna heal up. Everything's okay, everything's okay. He has 11 seconds to kill THK. Oh, PB's crab, crab. <laughs> I thought you meant he's gonna die, but... PB's gone. Nah, he shouldn't die here. He healed up to 2 HP. Really close to PB, though. Again, only 2 seconds behind PB on the uh, THK scream. Probably a lot more after this fight, because... One nail, unfortunate. He had a nutty fight in his PB. Mm -hmm. But GG to Sabi. Getting very I've... close to his PB is impressive. Kalir is no. potentially still beating their time on the boards. Potentially. Uh, I'm cursing it. Okay, yeah. I'm not cursing it. So it looks like Kalir has, has put all his focus on uh, the movement and less so on the bosses, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, I don't know how much his nerves, too. It, it's hard to say. I'm sure it's something we can ask him. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. GG. A very respectful Done. race from the both of them. Done. And they should get invites. Yeah. Unless I don't know what I'm doing, which, you know, fairly likely. <laughs> uh, hopefully, yeah, there's Wasabi, and hopefully Kalarius will come in very soon as well. Both runners can come up whenever they like, and we'll give them a little interview. If chat has any questions for the runners, feel free to type them in, and we'll read them out. Where is this Kalarius?
Giant question mark. We'll give Clarice a little more time before we drag Sabi in here. Um, also, if they don't want to join, that's of course perfectly fine. You're not forced to do interviews by any means. Just try to get them both if we can. I'm not getting a response, so they might not want to do interviews. We'll get Sabi in here for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we can ask him questions. <laughs> and judge him more. Hello there, Sabi. Valerie's not coming? Hello. Uh, I'm not getting a response. It doesn't seem it. Okay. All right. Is it calorie? I I don't know. I don't know. We've been saying Calaris or yeah. Calaris. Okay. 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 Anyway, GG, really close to oh, your PB. There's no um, way. that was dude. The the fact that that is okay, close to PB is actually a meme. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had GG some as well. Some quite um, rough splits in the early game, especially. Dude, I was so hoping that I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, because I totally messed up the early game. Uh, the first big mistake was, wasn't really a mistake, I just didn't, my turnaround got eaten, and I nailed the wrong thing, and I, like, set extratted all the way down to the bottom <laughs> of the green path, <laughs> and I was mm. like, okay, dude. Um, so that, I didn't feel like it was a mistake. Obviously, the Mantis Pogo, single Pogo, was a mistake. Um... But uh, I was like, okay, okay, we made some pretty bad early game mistakes, but those will be like the worst in the run, right? And then it just, oh my goodness, the whole run fell apart. But were you, uh, were you nervous at all? I mean, I'm always a little nervous at the beginning, but I don't feel like that was the primary factor here. Anyone who's been watching me this past week knows that I've been playing terrible all week, um, mm -hmm. at least compared to what I feel like is my best. And uh, well, if you look at my splits compared to my PB. Yeah, obviously pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, Kaliris, you, uh, is that how you pronounce, how do you pronounce your name, by the way? Oh, uh, hello, yeah, welcome. Kaliris is good. Yeah, GG, by the way. <laughs> oh, GG. Uh, your movement is very good. There's a lot of, like, little things that most people don't do that, like, as Palm was saying, people that go for, like, 52s sort of have, but, um, I'm fortunate about your boss fights for the most part, except for the Uma, of course. That was very well done. Yeah, did you get one cycle? Yes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I've caught on to the the movement tech pretty well, but my boss fights obviously still need some work. Yeah, is <laughs> I that got just, it. Uh, is I was. You, ha you haven't practiced the boss fights too much, or is it a nerve sort of thing? Uh, I guess a little bit of both. I probably should practice the boss fights a bit more. I'm not very consistent at them yet, but Fair enough. nerves are I, definitely a factor. I was looking at the pace you were on, and I'm like, dude, even if I was playing at my best, I should be scared of like this. Like, this is a good, <laughs> this is a decent pace you were on. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was that was pretty sick to see from you, Calories. Um, but I guess all skills is like, uh, may the better Hornet fighter win. Uh, when it comes to races, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, the blue room is always fun to see, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm really, uh, someone should tell me how, what, what's going on with that, because I definitely don't know. Someone yeah. should figure it out, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sabi, were you watching the race during Hornet 2? Yeah. And yeah. you just didn't bench because you don't bench? I do not bench. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, I, I meant to bench at King Station, but then when I realized I forgot, I'm like, fuck, there's no way. There's no <laughs> way I'm taking this other bench. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, you, you that Umu fight of your Asabi was very scary. <laughs> it had no reason to be that bad, but it was. <laughs> I came in on 4 HP, and I just one no. on one. Your, your first cycle was, like, probably less than half of umu's health as well nothing yeah. doubled and you got no extra yeah goals, and you got to one hp i'm like you know if you three cycles it'll be a miracle and you're like nah it's just two cycles <laughs> i was like i'm not i'm not healing dude i could kill this guy uh yeah. i have a i have a lot of practice messing up umu i've barely ever gotten <laughs> the one cycle but i've messed up the one cycle so many times it's just absolutely free now 
Uh, Another thing that really scared me was that sibling climb. Thank goodness you took that heel. Dude, that was the smartest heel of my life. I got, I got like, like 90% of the way up and I was like, I didn't even take any damage. That heel was pointless. And then I fucking instantly, (laughs) it was a sibling right at the end. It was just sitting up there and I didn't know what to do about it. So I panicked. I was like, it's like, why is it just sitting there? No, go away. It fell down into two more. It's like, oh my God, man. You could probably no reset a PB, by the way. Oh, I know. Like, I, that's what I was trying to do before I started practicing this week, was I was trying to no reset a PB, but I kept dying in all these terrible places, and I couldn't stop. So this whole past week, I've just been doing just practice, and I've been horrible the entire time, so. And, uh, uh sorry. Sorry, sorry to to pull this out. It was fine. It was good. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Uh, speaking of PBs, Caliris, um... Is your PB a 56? Someone in yeah, chat was saying? Yeah, 56, okay. 14. Is what the PB. fuck? 14, yeah. Okay, no wonder you're... Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, like, no wonder you're moving so well. I was like, dude, what is this? I was like, this is not an hour-long pace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there a reason you haven't submitted it to us, RC, or just haven't gotten around to it? Uh, yeah, I guess I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if if you get your boss fights wired down, you've got, like, a really good time on your hands. <laughs> yeah, I guess part of the reason I haven't submitted my 56 is because I kind of anticipate improving that, but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah, I, I personally think you're in a very good spot for improvement, because I think you do a lot of strats that allow you to improve quite a bit. Um, it's not like you're doing as well as you can with the strats you have and you just need to improve those like you know what to do um you just have like some consistency problems and some boss fight problems but that's yeah. like the stuff that just doing runs will get you better at mm-hmm. definitely consistency is my biggest issue i would say yeah I mean, that's yeah practice and you, you got some great times coming your way for sure <laughs> uh nerf Aurelia in the chat wants to know uh, Savi, how come instead of fighting THK, uh, why didn't you go down to infect a crossroads and die saving a grub? <laughs> uh, that grub is worth it uh, if you're not on PV pace. I'm gonna say. So, <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was kind of on pace. If I had golded THK, I did get five golds this race, by the way. So nice. Someone, Sierra was saying that I was, I, I could get a lot of golds. I think I said, I, I feel like I could get like five golds this race just because I've spent the entire week practicing endgame, but I, I still played really poorly, but I still I did okay in some segments, I guess. That's cool. Good work. Yeah. Uh, any, Palm, any final questions? I got nothing. Clearest, Sabi, anything else you'd want to finish out with? Uh, shout outs to Palm and Sylvie for commentating. Everyone in Insomnia's Discord because they're all sick. Um, my friend Counter Kitty and Serpent Text. Let's go. Yeah, thanks to uh, both commentators for coming out commentating this match. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah. I think we'll end it here then. Palm, mm-hmm. do the honors. There's honors? ending the episode. Uh, I can do that! Yeah, you can. Do I that. hit the button, I hit the button. Let's All go. Right, guys. <laughs>